you know, it's it, it it's fucking amazing. Uh, I say cock in your ass. My cock in your ass. And all of a sudden, I got seven fucking views out there. Ain't that the shit? Right? Ain't that the fucking shit? The highest views I've ever gotten for a fucking video. Seven fucking views, which is really nothing. Compared to these fucking douchebags out there that get fucking thousands of fucking views. And they're not even nowhere as talented as fucking Crazy Joe show is. Well, this is not a show. This is the Video Chronicles. But my point... It's just so fucking unfair. They get hundreds and thousands of views and I get shit. But as soon as I say cock in the fucking ass... I get seven fucking views. That's how s fucked up the uh, this YouTube crap is, especially you people out there who expect me to fucking do handstands for you and jump all over the fucking place for you. And what the fuck do you do for me? You do absolutely nothing for me. Okay? Absolutely fucking nothing. Which is the reason why I need an audience that's got some fucking brains. Okay? Not a fucking audience that's a bunch of fucking flakes and a bunch of fucking jerk-offs and... And, you know, people that are just fucking self-serving, selfish, self-absorbed, and self-centered. Like some of you people out there. Because I've been doing some fucking nice videos out there, including my tribute to Jeff Labar. Did anybody care about Jeff Labar? Probably not. Because a lot of you are, the, are, are a bunch of fucking young, new millennial, inexperienced, fucking douchebag, yuppie, puppy... What is this? Yuppie, puppy, hipster, dipster. Uh, what else are you that I don't like? And various assortment of fucking human scum. <laughs> I couldn't say that with a straight face. No, but you people fucking piss me off. YouTube pisses me off that I can't do a live fucking video. I have to do this fucking pre-recorded bullshit and um, and get a thousand fucking subscribers before I'm allowed to do a fucking uh, live fucking video. Oh. Fucking sucks. The whole fucking shit sucks. Anyway, and I don't do fucking videos to cater to a bunch of fucking jerk-off new millennial scumbags out there that just don't have the brains because their parents suck and raise them to be fucking animals and shitheads and retards because they don't have a attention span. Like normal fucking people. See, in our day, people had what they call a normal attention span. They they just paid attention to you most of the time. And today you got these fucking losers out there, these kids that are so fucking ignorant and stupid that a fucking caveman has more fucking brains. I mean, you fucking... Kids, you you stupid assholes, you, you know, like, you don't pay attention. You know, you rather play your stupid fucking retarded video games or, um, or, um, you know, jerk off with your skateboard or, uh, or be on the computer all day, you know, and, uh, well... That really limits your capabilities of 
paying attention to a real human being because you see the technology today is meant to brainwash your fucking undeveloped brains the reason i say your brains are undeveloped is because of your parents your parents brains were undeveloped because of this generations and other generations it doesn't go back to my generation because in my generation the parents taught the kids responsibility and taught them um, just to be responsible and to work hard and not to expect to make fifty fucking thousand dollars their fucking uh, a week when they come out of fucking college and um, these kids today are just and I'm talking about you kids out there you're all fucking lazy and a bunch of dumbasses you're like beavis and fucking butthead I don't know if that was a, the right thing to say comparing you fucking you millennial douchebags to beavis and butthead but um I'm not here to be popular and to make you happy and to cheer you and all the... Because you people are... This generation, I have to say... What's my light? Oh. This, this fucking generation of misfits with the lack of attention, the fact that you fucking jerk-offs are selfish, self-absorbed and self-centered... And, you know, the rock and roll is dead. And I've already talked about that because of the Jews, which I call the suits, have are part of the New World Order. Wow, this thing is really slanted. And, and that New World Order is... Uh, is very disgusting. I was distracted for a second. This new world order is... Um, see, our rock and roll just didn't vanish. It, it vanished for, for the purposes of the new world order, the suits, to get rid of it. Because these people who are making... The woke movement and the um, the politically correct movements and uh, all this leftist liberal propaganda bullshit don't want the kids to feel, to love. Because rock and roll represents that. So this is a huge conspiracy. Right on. A huge conspiracy. That you can't fucking believe. Because things just don't disappear. You've been rock our beloved rock and roll music has been around for over six decades, and now all of a sudden it's gone. And then you got this fucking vomit crap of crapola music. It's like a fucking tidal wave coming out of a fucking person's mouth. <laughs> of rap crap and 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 this um uh <clears throat> This culture, black culture, minority culture, uh, bitches, cunts, uh, uh, angry lesbians. Well, that was years ago when they were singer-songwriters. Um, you know, Hollywood and... All the stuff that's going on with this um, supposedly pedophilia that's going on in Hollywood. Um, Broadway with the... I mean, every... You know, it's it's shocking for me. But it's like everybody in the entertainment business is, is out for these... For the minority people. You know... I'll tell you how unfair it is. In New York City, years ago, many years ago, they would give the minority candidates that were applying for jobs in the fire department 
10, 15, maybe sometimes 20 points ahead of the white candidates. You tell me that's not discrimination. Anyway, I'll cover that in my other segment uh, because I know how mentally retarded uh, some of you people are out there and cannot focus on... See, I don't even know... Well, okay, here it is. You see, I, I have peace. I got peace of mind knowing that that I represent the best generation of all time. And you people are not with that because you're in this generation. You're the new millennial scumbag, douchebag, asswipes. And you're not going to admit this, not in a thousand years, but your whole fucked up generation is fucked up. And our values were solid values. And I know what you're saying. Well, he's talking about racism and he probably a bigot himself and all I want to say is to, until I get to my next video is that word racist bigot all this stuff that's being tossed out today at people like me and which is nothing part of the leftist liberal propaganda machine is a word that's overused to deflate people like us to defeat people like us to crucify people like us because we represent the truth and the light of what is right and what is wrong and what is good and what is bad. I could tell you something right now without a doubt, without a doubt, that I am not a racist person. But in our society today that eliminated the TV show Cops and uh, uh, Lie PD and Gone with the Wind, which was a great movie. And, uh, you know, uh, you wouldn't know that because you're a bunch of fucking douchebags. You know, you're a bunch of punks. You know, you and, and, and obviously that movie was was, I think, around the time I was born. But it, it's it's I mean, what else are they going to take? They were even talking about taking Dr. Seuss. This is insanity. This is pure craziness and sanity and it's got to stop and if I have anything to do with it here on the Crazy Joe show I will stop it somehow and I will I want to have a world that was kind of like the world we had growing up and living through it was a great time yeah there was problems sure there was war yes there was plenty of drugs and a lot of people died from heroin overdoses. But let me tell you something. People were real back then. And the worst thing that's happened... See this uh, technology? I like it. And I don't like it. But you wouldn't understand what I mean by that. Because you're a bunch of fucking ignorant douchebags. And, uh... Fuck you. Right on? This means peace. And love. And the pursuit of happiness. But you're a bunch of miserable fucking new millennial douchebags. You think I'm fucking miserable? Look at your own fucking pathetic lives. You're part of that fucking leftist liberal fucking Marxist communist fucking mentality. You're a bunch of fucking jerk-offs. Who loves you, baby?